Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies pre-release preview video of Flight Beam's Auckland scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This product is not yet released, it's still in beta. So there are more features to be added, there are little tweaks to be made and things to be improved. We'll talk a little bit about what uh, Flight Beam have planned as we go along. Uh, but for now, just be aware that this isn't the finished product. With that said, let's get started. The first thing that struck me as I loaded up this airport for the very first time is just how lifelike everything feels. This is the domestic terminal and you can see that it is alive with ground clutter, the textures are absolutely fantastic and uh, the modelling is very very detailed as well. If we have a look at some of these jetways you'll notice that they're really really nicely weathered and uh, look very very realistic indeed. The terminals feature tinted transparent glass and modelled interiors. Flightbeam intend to improve the quality of the interiors before release, so we're not going to have a look inside for now. But suffice to say, from the outside when you park up in your plane, it looks absolutely fantastic. Down at ground level, Flight Beam have included a number of vehicles and other bits and pieces of airport clutter, which bring a lot of life to the place, and they are all specific to this airport. On the roof we have a huge amount of detail such as air conditioning vents and uh, also some very very nice texturing, absolutely no blurriness whatsoever. The international terminal is every bit as impressive. Just imagine pulling up here in a PMDG 777 having flown in from LA. You will feel like you're really there. The detail and realism continue across the airport. Just look at this rust on the roof of this maintenance hangar. Absolutely fantastic. Again, incredible levels of detail, super crisp texturing, fantastic weathering. It's really very, very impressive. The control towers look very, very impressive as they are, but Flight Beam intend to model interiors for them as well before release. This is the main control tower. And this is the International Terminal Ground Control Tower, where you can see they've already made a start on some of the interior. The jetways look beautiful. And they connect to the aircraft pretty perfectly as well. The ground textures look absolutely fantastic. They're not too uniform. There are patches of dirt here and there, scuffs and cracks in the concrete slabs. The ground markings are accurate and they are not too bright and cartoony as you often see uh, in certain add-ons, particularly these red lines, they look just right. Uh, so all in all, once again, very, very impressive and very immersive. The grassy areas and 3D taxiway signs look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we don't have any jagged edges. There is a little bit of blurriness where these two textures join, uh, but overall I think that's a price worth paying for this uh, very realistic, dirty looking edge to the taxiway. And just look at the runway. How realistic is that from the accurate markings to the dirt on the edges to the rubber markings around the touchdown zone? This has to be one of the most realistic runways I have ever seen. The landside areas are not too shabby either. You will notice a little bit of blurry default satellite imagery uh, as you move further away from the airport, but just have a look at the entrance here to the domestic terminal. We've got vehicles parked up, we've got very realistic looking shelters and barriers in between the various lanes, and the texture work on the front of the terminal is absolutely first class. Flightbeam have done a significant amount of modelling stretching quite a long way from the airport entrance itself. We've got multi-storey car parks, we've got this fuel farm, uh, we've got hotels and cargo buildings and various other structures stretching all the way along this main road here. Flightbeam have done an awesome job of modelling the international terminals landside areas as well. These little structures here can't have been easy to do. Uh, they are obviously very, very intricately designed and there are no obvious jagged edges. It's really very impressive. The apron night lighting looks absolutely fantastic, lighting up the planes and the ground very realistically indeed. There is some light coming from inside the terminals. They do look a little bit dark, but let's not forget that the interiors are not yet finished. So hopefully this will be brightened up a tiny bit in the final release build. 
In fact, looking at the interior of the International Terminal by night, I'm fairly confident that this is going to happen. This is one of the most realistic looking interiors by night I've ever seen. Pulling up here, you're going to feel very much like you're at the real airport. The taxiway and runway lighting look very, very nice indeed. I'm not certain, but I think that Flightbeam may have used a custom version of taxiway centerline lights. They twinkle in and out, they're a lot more visible from certain angles than others, and when you're taxiing along, they look very realistic. Before we finish up with a conclusion, I just want to tell you a little bit about what Flightbeam planned to add to this airport before its final release. Some of this I've mentioned already, some of it I haven't. So we're going to have control tower interiors, as I said, for both the main control tower and the international terminal ground control tower. Um, and as I've also said, we're going to have improvements to the inside of the terminals. So uh, we're going to have some life. Now, I assume this means people, which would be very, very exciting. Um, we're also going to have VDGS, Visual Docking Guidance systems to allow you to park your plane up accurately at the gates. Now, a few developers have had a go at this already um, with varying degrees of success, but that's certainly something that I'm very excited to see. There are also going to be more static aircraft. You will have noticed a few Air New Zealand Airbuses and Boeing 777s around the place. We're going to have more of those and some more general aviation aircraft as well. We're also going to have animated ramp workers. The approach lighting is going to be improved. Currently, it doesn't show during low visibility uh, during the daytime. And there's going to be a few general tweaks and fixes to minor issues. But what do I think of Flightbeam's Auckland as it currently stands? Well, I am hugely impressed. It's clear that a lot of love has been put into its development. Flightbeam have been working on it for a long time, and I can confidently say that it's worth the wait in its current state, never mind with all the extras that are going to be added before release. It's one of those rare add-ons that really manages to capture the ambiance of the place through highly detailed and accurate modelling, careful texturing, colour matching and weathering of the buildings, highly detailed ground textures and realistic ground clutter. I have absolutely no hesitation in advising you to buy it the moment it's released. I hope you found this preview video useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm doing a lot of my streaming on Twitch now, so I'd love it if you'd come and join me over there at twitch.com slash philbertflies. Auckland is sure to be making an appearance on one of my flights in the very near future. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon here on Philbert Flies. Bye bye.